Hi everyone, I'm back. And today I'm gonna to show you all how to make chitlins. Okay, now what I like to do, when I buy chitlins, I love to buy the bag. I don't get that red bucket, guys. If you can avoid the red bucket, please do so. Um, because the red bucket is very dirty. Now these here say that they're, they're pre-clean. Please don't believe that. You have to clean these yourself. So I'm going to use three bags. And here's what they look like. Okay, so right now they're kind of frozen solid. I got up about 7 this morning and went and got me some fresh chitlins. And I'm thawing them out and you can kind of see that they're starting to thaw out. Okay, now the ingredients. So I'm using three bags. The ingredients you will need... You will need baking soda. You will need an impeccably clean sink. Make sure that you clean your sink out very, very well. Okay, so we've done that. Here's our ingredients. You will need one large onion, two large potatoes. You will need fresh garlic cloves, two green, two green bell peppers, one red bell pepper, I have a habanero pepper that you don't have to use if you don't want to. And then I have two chicken bouillon cubes, all right? And these are the bigger ones. If you want to know the name brand, the name brand is Core, okay? So then we're going to need apple cider vinegar and two containers. These are 32 ounce of chicken broth, all right? So... We'll give these chitlins, let's come back over to our sink, give them a little bit longer to get nice and thawed out, and then I'll show you how to do the cleaning process. And then we're going to cook these bad boys up, and I'm going to have some mouth watering tonight. Be back. Okay, everyone, one hour later. All right, so they're starting to thaw out, but they're still frozen. I need to give it a little bit more time so that they all can thaw out. And then, like I said, I'll come back and show you how to clean these. I'm so excited, they're almost thawed out. Now, so, I guess I've been thawing these out for about three and a half hours, like I said, because they come in like a frozen brick. And the ideal is to keep them in cold water and they'll start to thaw out. Make sure you do not use warm water. Be back, everyone. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Now, let me show you how to clean these, okay? So, you pick one of your chitlins up, just like so, and you have the chitlin, and then you have, it's like, um, what do we wanna call it? Like a film that you want to be able to take off. You want to start at the very end, and then I'll show you what it looks like, okay? So you're going to separate this clear film here. All right, see how that's nice and clear? You want to take that off. That's the part that we don't want, okay? And this here, uh, it's clear also, but it's thicker. The thicker part is the chitlin that we want to eat. This thin part is that we don't want to eat that. So then we're going to just pull it off. And you always start at the end. If it rips, just go back to where you were. Okay, if you see fat along the way like this, you just take it off. All right? This is how you clean chitlins. Now I'm going to get all of this part that we don't want off before I actually clean them with the I use I'm going to use salt I'm going to use vinegar and I'm going to use baking soda to clean these after I get the unwanted part off okay so we're going to continue to do this all right now this is very 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 time consuming okay so those of you that don't have time don't cook them <laughs> honestly don't cook them because you have to have time like I had to make myself available for hours today in order to do this okay I'm in my pajamas right now <laughs> and I'm cleaning me some chitlins and I made sure that my schedule was open so that I can do this okay this here 
See that? That's all the unwanted part. This is what the waste travels, travels through. We don't want that. Get rid of it, okay? This is the good part. All right? And then I need to go through the good part. And I need to look at it and make sure that there's no fat and nothing on there, okay? That's a good chitlin right there, all right? So we'll set that aside. I have a bag that I'm going to put my waste in, all right? I'm going to use the bag that the chitlins came in and put the wasted part into the bag, and then I'm going to put that inside of like a Kroger bag, all right? And then we're gonna grab us another one and we're gonna do the same thing. All right, start at the end and you wanna get the wasted part off. See, it'll come off no matter how big or how small it is. Get that part that we don't need off of there. All right, come over here, pull that film off, all right? Just like so. In the Young's house, we're gonna have us some clean chitlins, guys. You can't eat chitlins from everybody because you, you don't know how they clean their chitlins, right? So you make sure if you eat chitlins from somebody that is someone that you know that they're clean and they care about, you know, what they feed to others. I'm so afraid to anyone other than like my father <laughs> all right mm -hmm. let me get another big one so that i can show you again all right let's see here i was listening to have you all ever heard of um the gospel group mary mary i've the, for the past couple of days i've been listening to mary mary and i believe the song is can't give up oh my gosh guys this song is amazing i've been singing it and it makes me feel so good inside because i feel like what they're saying it said i can't give up now come too far from where i'm started from and they said nobody told me the road wouldn't be easy but, they, but then they said, um, I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. And that's the truth, guys. God didn't bring you this far to leave you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. I'm not going to preach, guys. <laughs> I'm not going to preach. But if you haven't heard the song, listen to it. Okay, so then you can see I have that clear part, that very clear, thin part once again. That's the part you want to get rid of. Take your time. And then once I get this off, I'm still going to double back and check everything all over again. Absolutely. You have to when you're cleaning chitlins. Now, normally I use um, hog mogs in mine. And I was so upset. I went to the butcher this morning and um, I said, do you have any hog mogs? And he's like, no. He's like, they're all frozen. He said, what I have, they're frozen and I need to like unthaw them in order to package them. I'm like, can you sell me some some of them that's frozen? I'm like, I'll take a couple of them that's frozen. He's like, well, that's the thing. They're in one big, what did he say? They're in one big frozen lump. And I'm thinking, oh, shucks. So we're not going to do the hog mocks today with this, but we're going to have us some chitlins, guys. I'm going to make some mouths water. You hear me? I'm excited. My son is, my, my husband doesn't eat them. But now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've made them and he's ate them. You know, so he, he'll say, I don't eat chitlins. But when it gets to smelling so good and he sees us eating on these things, he'll say, uh, let me try a little bit. <laughs> you know, and he'll eat a whole bowl. <laughs> So it's kind of like that with him. See this one here, I'm kind of trying to, I'm kind of struggling a little bit to get it off, but take your time. That's why I said make your schedule available so that you can take this, the time out to do it correctly. All right, there's that. Okay, and see I got some more of this film that I want to take off. 
just take it off just like so and then you're left with one beautiful nice and clean chitlin see that that's what you're looking for you hear me all right so then let's go in again i'm going to clean maybe one or two more and then what i'll do is i'll put the video on pause so that i can clean the rest and then i'll come back and show you how to cook them because i don't want to do too many minutes of showing you all how to clean this all right and make my video too long so here's what you do you find the film that you don't want again make sure you start up at the top guys you'll be able to find it if you do this motion all right and there it is all right come on off for me baby get nice and clean mm-hmm so then we're gonna do just like this like I said any fat that you may come across cut that off just take it right on off you don't need to digest it all right beautiful and make sure you have a trash bag on the other side of your sink that you're putting the wasted part in so that you don't get it mixed up see this take that off of there take that right off of there now I have a trick to making mine when I make my chitlins I do something special so that I don't have a funny smell in the house and if you follow what I do you won't have a funny smell in the house either okay I've been doing this for years and it always works for me no one never complains about the smell in the house when I'm making chitlins all right so I'm going to continue to keep taking this off just like so see that and then I'll come back once I have everything uh, nice and cleaned and then I'll show you how I wash them with the vinegar salt and the baking soda uh, See how that comes off? It comes right off of there. All that's waste. All right, and here's our good part. All right. So let me finish this, and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, I just wanted to show you I'm still, let me get a good picture. I'm still cleaning them, guys. It's been about 15 minutes. And I'm still cleaning these bad boys. I'm getting them nice as clean as I can. Okay, so earlier and when I first started the video, I was saying um, the film, uh, or so to speak. We, um, I meant to say the membrane. Okay, take that thin membrane off of there. All right. And then you'll come out with nice, clean chitlins that look like this. And when you see the vein, sometimes you'll see some veins. You can just pull it right off. Hey, with no problem, just like that. Okay, see that? That's what you want it to look like, guys. Okay, but I wanted to correct myself because I was saying film and I meant to say membrane. Be back, everyone. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Now, let me show you what we're going to throw away. This is the waste that I came up with. Look at this, guys. All of that's waste. All of this is we're not going to use that. So you put it back in that bag. All right, and what I like to do is put it into like a, you know, one of your grocery store bags, Kroger bag, and then I'm just going to discard it that way. I'll probably put it in another bag, all right? So now that's all waste. Now, let me show you the good stuff. Okay, so I've cleaned my sink once again. Here's the good stuff that we have right here. I'm doing the video. Okay, so here's what we have. This is the nice and clean chitlins, and they look just like this. Now, here's what we're going to do. I put them in cold water. I rewash my sink out. This is clean water here. And I want to show you something. Let me get my cutting board set up because I like to cut mines a little bit. Some people 
Some people don't cut theirs. We'll just put my cutting board right there, okay? Let me get a good picture in. Let's see, there's a good picture. So we'll take one, right? See how big this one is? It's huge. So then I'm just gonna grab it. Can you see a good picture of it? And I'm just gonna slice it just like so, so that we don't have to have these huge pieces in our dish. Okay, see that? Just like this. Give me a second and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, sorry about that. All right, so now we have bite-sized pieces. See that? That's what I like to do. All right, we'll do another one. All right, see this? It's, it's huge. All right, so let's push this aside. We're just going to grab it just like so. All right, and if you can use kitchen shears if you like, okay? I'm just going to use my knife and cut it to bite-sized pieces, okay? So I'm going to continue to do that. As soon as I'm done, we'll come back and I'll show you our first step in cooking the chitlins. Be right back. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Now, I've cut the chitlins, and I know right before I put the video on pause, I said when I came back, I'm going to show you how to cook them, but not before we clean these, okay? So now, here's what you do. Here's what I like to do. We're going to put some salt, and we're going to put a nice amount of salt in there, okay? Because the salt is going to serve as our abrasive, and what an abrasive is, is kind of gives you um, like a sandy filling and help you to get off whatever's on the uh, the meat. Okay, so we put our salt in. We're gonna put some baking soda in. Oh yeah, this is how I clean mine, guys. They have to be clean, you hear me? And I'm putting a nice amount in there. But trust and believe I'm gonna rinse them very well, okay? And this baking soda also helps to tenderize the chitlins. <clears throat> I got a smoke here from the baking soda. All right, and then, I'm gonna go in with vinegar and I'm gonna use two capfuls, whoops. It is gonna fuzz because you're putting it, you know, in with your baking soda, but it's okay. Let's clean these things, all right? So, and I'm gonna keep this vinegar out because I like to use a little bit of vinegar on my chitlins when I'm cooking now. So then my hands are impeccably clean, the sink is impeccably clean, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna wash them. And this is how I like to do mine. Okay? Use that salt as an abrasive, and it does help to clean these very well. And I'm gonna do this three times, and I'm gonna rinse it. Okay? And do it again, and rinse it and do it again. All right? Now, the third time, I'm not gonna use salt, I'm just gonna use baking soda and vinegar. This here. Guys, if you want you some clean chitlins, if you want to feed your man some chitlins, your woman some chitlins, make them this way. They're going to say, oh my goodness, girl, or man, <laughs> them things is good. Beautiful, and they're nice and clean. Look at them, guys. This is what you want. Nice and clean chitlins. All right, that's what you want. Put a little bit more baking soda in this one. That's about it. Oh yeah. And we're gonna rinse them. I'm gonna press the pause button and rinse them, okay? I'm gonna let the, let's go ahead and start letting the water out. Let me pull that plug thing here. Beautiful. So what I'm doing is I'm letting the water out. When I come back, I'm gonna press pause. And when I come back, I'll have new water in. And then we'll do the same process all over again. Be right back. Okay, everyone, let's give this a second clean. I'm gonna go in with my vinegar once again. Salt, again. All right, baking soda, again. And the third time, remember, don't use salt. Just use baking soda and vinegar, all right? So then go in and scrub them. Scrub them, guys. The third wash, I'm just going to do it without um, coming back to the camera because I don't want to waste camera time. I don't want my video to be too long, 
All right, so I'm gonna go in and keep washing these just like so. I'm gonna let this water out and do my third wash. Oh yeah, these bad boys are clean, you hear me? Mm-hmm, this is what you want. This is how you clean chitlins, you hear me? If you never cleaned them before, try it this way. Mm. That salt in that baking soda really gets these clean. Yes, they do. I'm gonna put the video on pause. I'm gonna continue to clean these. And then I'm gonna clean on the third time and I'll be Okay, everyone, I'm back. I did my third rinse and wash. And so now, this is my wok. You all know me, you know I love to love, I love to use my favorite wok here. And I'm filling this wok up with water. And then I'm gonna put one crushed whole clove garlic in. All right, and then I'm going to <coughs> take a potato, just a half of a potato, all right, and I'm going to throw that in there, and that's going to help with the smell. All right, just throw it in there. It's not going to fall apart in your chitlins or anything like that, okay? So now, let me pour a little bit of this water off, just a little bit. Let's see, I might have to take, let me get a little cup here. So, I'm going to take a little bit of this water out of here, because I don't want it to... Once it starts to boil, I don't want it to bubble over. All right, I got some sunlight coming through. Hopefully you all have a great picture. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this up on medium high and I'm gonna bring this to a roiling boil. Okay, now here's the thing. I'm not going to season this because what I'm trying to do right now, I wanna bring this up to a boil and bring all those impurities out and bring the oil out of this. And then once it comes up to a rolling boil, I'ma pour that hot water off and then we're gonna to start to cook it, okay? That's how I like to do mine. You have to do that, guys. Boil these first, get all those impurities out. Get the fat out because you'll get a lot of oil from these, believe it or not. And then we're going to pour all that out. We're going to start off with new fresh water. Then we're going to throw our beautiful seasonings in. Okay, so let's get this on the stove on a medium high and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, this is on the stove. We have one large crushed garlic clove in that half of potato. Put the lid on it. Let it come up to a nice boil. Let that oil and everything come out of there that we don't want. We're gonna pour that oil off and that water off of here and then I'm gonna show you how to make some chitlins. It is a long process. And, um, but the reward at the end is so delicious, guys. Trust me when I tell you this. Okay, so once this starts to come up to a boil and I'm ready to pour the water off, I'll be back. Okay, everybody. These have cooked for 35 minutes and they're at a roiling boil. Now I can see the oil pulled out. All the impurities are pulled out. And now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come back over to the sink. All right, and we're gonna drain that water off. I see I got some sunlight coming through. And now we're gonna start over with new water. We're gonna keep that potato because that potato soaks up the scent. And in my house, guys, you cannot smell chitlins cooking in my house. You hear me? You cannot. So here's what we're gonna do. I wanna rinse my pan out. Actually, I'm gonna wash the pan out and get that oil out of there, okay? Let me get my dishwashing liquid. I'm gonna wash that pan out. Meanwhile, I'm gonna put the video on pause so I can wash this pan out. And then we'll put the chitlins back in. We're gonna season these bad boys up. I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, I've washed my pan out. I'm putting hot water back in. And I still got my potato. That potato, this potato is the key 
good smelling chitlins, guys. It's going to soak up all that smell. Okay, here's we go. Now, here's the thing. Remember I had three bags of chitlins? You see how much we threw away. But look how much it leaves you with, guys. <laughs> Just a little bit, and that's okay. During the holiday, I'll probably do, you know, maybe like uh, eight bags versus three today. All right? So then, we're going to fill this up just like so, and that's hot water that I'm using, all right? So we're going to come back over to the stove, and then we're going to season these up. Let me turn my music off, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, so here's what I like to do. And make sure you have on your fan on top of your uh, range. Have that fan on so it can, you know, pull up your, your scent. Here comes green bell peppers, and we're only going to use half right now. We're going to use half of the red bell pepper and half of the onion. Now the rest of this, we're going to put this in later so that we can, when our finished product is done, we can still have some texture and color to our chitlins. Because this that we put in right now, oh, it's all going to melt into Flavorland. You hear me? It's going to disintegrate and give off so much flavor. Trust me when I tell you that. Okay, so then I have one large garlic clove, fresh garlic. Make sure you use fresh garlic, guys. Put that fresh garlic clove in there, just like so. All right, and then with our seasonings. Okay, so we're gonna put the two chicken bouillon cubes in and I have the two large ones. All right. There's that. We're gonna put two capfuls of apple cider vinegar in, just like so. Just two capfuls and then we'll go back in and taste it later. There's one, there's two. All right, we're gonna put one of our chicken broths in, the full, the full container, 32 ounce, just like so. All right, then in with our seasoning. First thing I like to use, guys, is when I make chitlins or when I make hog mugs, celery salt but be careful because it does have salt in it but put you some in there so you can taste it celery salt is a must <laughs> all right we're gonna put some sea salt in all right parsley for those that know me my parsley's not open I can't believe that let me get the other one uh, if I can find it there it is guys I'll have to open that other one to get some more parsley out. I got some onion powder here. Put your nice amount in. Don't be afraid to season. Only season you got to worry about is salt. That was garlic powder. Oh, that was onion powder. Here's the garlic powder. Nice and flavorful, guys. Put you some in. And I'm going to put a little bit of accent. You all don't have to use accent if you don't want to, okay? It's really up to you. I'm going to put me some hot sauce in these bad boys. Mm-hmm. And then Sazon. You all that know me, you know I love me some Sazon. But here's the thing. I'm not gonna use a whole packet. I'm just gonna put a dash or two in because I don't want these to be red in color. Okay? So just a just a couple dashes is all I need. That's about good enough. And if you can see in there, you see I have a whole packet left. Okay? All right, I'm going to go ahead and open this garlic, I mean, not this garlic salt, this parsley flakes so I can get some in there. And then we're going to put the lid on them, and we're just going to let them go, okay? And now, with the habanero pepper, I'm going to put, this is the parsley that I opened. With the habanero pepper, you don't have to use it, okay? You do not have to use it. I'm going to use it today, but I'm not going to cut it because if I were to cut that habanero pepper, I would blow somebody's mind away, right? 
because it's so hot but what I do like to do is towards the end of the cooking process when it has maybe 40 minutes left I'm gonna put this down in there and just let it steep and what will happen is some flavor will start to come off of it but not too much okay just a little bit of flavor will start to leak out of this okay but that's how I do mine I never cut this when I use it because honestly I'm a person that doesn't like the heat I don't like hot stuff, but I do like I have, a, you know, just a little tiny bit of heat. And that's what this will do if you don't cut it. But now, if you want to light somebody's socks on fire, cut this bad boy up and throw it on it. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're going to do. I have it on medium high. See the potato? The potato is still intact, and it's going to stay like that through the whole cooking process. All right? Now... Let's go ahead, put our lid on, all right, and this potato here, we're going to put this potato right there. Is it going to fall, Gina? No, it's not going to fall. It's going to stay right there, and it's also going to soak up some of the smell from the chitlins. Everybody, I'm going to let this cook for a couple hours. When I get back, I'm going to tell you exactly how long this cooked. I'll be back when the finished product is done. A, a couple of times, I'll come in and show you what it's looking like, and I'll be back. Okay, everyone, let's take a look at these beautiful chitlins. Okay, look at this, guys. Listen here. I told you all, I am, I am seriously cooking in this kitchen. You hear me? If you want some, if you want some good food, a good recipe, hey, here's where you want to get it, guys. Look at this. This is what it's supposed to look like. And you know what? It does not smell one bit in this house. You hear me, guys. And I am seriously not even lying to you. Here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead. And I like to take this potato out. Okay? Whoops. I don't want him to fall apart. Let's take this one out. Right? Check me out, guys. Check me out, baby. And then we're going to go in and put this one in. It's just one that I cut in half. All right, what I've done when the video was on pause, I tasted my broth. My broth is beautiful, but I did feel like I needed a little bit more flavor. So I went ahead back in with the parsley, with the garlic powder and onion powder. I put another chicken bouillon cube in. I put a little bit more apple cider vinegar in. And I put a little bit more hot sauce. Uh what else a little tiny bit more celery salt in and we're just gonna let it go guys just keep letting it go being patient remember patience is the key to good cooking you want some good cooking be patient with it you always have to be patient okay so this is what it's looking like it's it's beautiful right it's so beautiful I like to have color and I like to have flavor I have to have those two things in order to enjoy my meal all right, so we're just going to discard that potato there, all right, and we have this in. We're going to cover this right back up and keep our potato right there. It doesn't move. It just stays there. And then, um, now this has been cooking for two hours. I'm going to come back here in a little while and check it, and I'm going to taste the um, chitlin to see if it's nice and tender. And if it's not, then we'll continue to cook it. Um, but as soon as it starts to get nice and tender, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and throw my habanero pepper in and throw these in. Oh, and what I wanted to show you, let me show you something. So remember how I told you that... Um, these vegetables, the onions, bell pepper, the red and green bell pepper, like I told you, they'll just disintegrate into flavor. And they're going to get so soft, like I said, they will disintegrate. But then these ones that we're going to put in, that second batch, we'll be able to taste it and we'll be able to see it by putting it in at a later time so that it doesn't disintegrate. But it is just enough so it's going to put off flavor also. I'll be back, everyone. And... When I come back, we'll put our vegetables in. Be back. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Now I'm just checking in on these beautiful chitlins. Check them out, guys. Check them out. And remember we did that boil, that first boil, and we wind up pouring that water off? Make sure you do that. Make sure you do that because it takes a lot of grease out of it. Um, and just, oh, oh my goodness. Just trust me, guys, and do that. <laughs>
All right, so now we're gonna go in with our, and you can see the other ones disintegrated. Now these ones are gonna go in. We'll be able to taste them. They're gonna let off flavor. I know I said that before. And we're gonna still be able to see them. So it's gonna make our dish even more beautiful. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put my habanero pepper in. Like I said, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stir this around and I'm just gonna steep it down in there and just let whatever flavor ooze right on out of there without touching it. If you wanna go in and stir this, just stir around your habanero pepper. You don't have to touch it because you don't wanna bust it open, okay? So here's what it looks like, guys. Doesn't this look like just a huge pan of flavor? Guys, this is flavor for real. You hear me? And my house smells so good. <laughs> All right, there's that. And on the stove, I have some water boiling because I'm going to make some white rice. All right, let's cover this up. I'm going to put some white rice under it when this is done. Our meal is almost cooked. So when it's done, I'll be back. Everything's been cooking for about three hours now. Okay, so when, it when, it, when everything's done, I'll let you know the exact cooking time and how long this took. Be right back, everyone. Okay, everyone, it's time to take out our, let's check on our chitlins, and I want to take that habanero pepper out, guys. I do want to taste the broth. Let me taste the broth before I take it out, because I know it's let off just the perfect amount of spice that I can take. Let's see. Hold on, let me blow this, guys. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Perfect. I'm gonna let it stay in there a tad bit longer. Let me show you. Let me show you guys something. See how it's kind of I pierced right through it. Oh my goodness. I'm not putting that back in there, guys. See what I did? Oh no, it's not. That's a green bell pepper. Okay. Awesome. I thought that was my knife. Okay. So see how it shrunk? And it's just slowly seeping out this beautiful hot flavor. But, but like I said, don't cut it. When you're stirring this, don't touch it. It's letting off just a perfect amount of spice that you need. And these potatoes have done their job. I'm going to go ahead and take them out. Okay? Beautiful. All right, there's that one. Let's get this one out. Now these chitlins have cooked for three hours and 25 minutes. I'm gonna let them go just a tiny bit longer. And then when I come back, I'll give these beautiful chitlins a try and I'll let you all know what they taste like. Look at this, guys. Let me see, let me get a very good close up for you all. Let's see, something, maybe I can make this my thumbnail picture. Isn't it beautiful? This right here, this is what you call chitlins. Chitlins 101, guys. If you never made it, if you never had it, make you some, guys. I got a, I got an easy, easy recipe right here for you. Mm -hmm. This right here will take you back. This will take your memory back. All right? So now. Let them cook a little bit longer. I'll come back and we'll give these bad boys a try. Be back, everybody. Okay, everybody, let's try these. First, we need to take the uh, habanero pepper out. And you can see it's let all of its nice flavor out. Not too much, because it didn't bust. Remember that. I'm taking that out. Mix this around. I got some white rice over here, guys, in my bowl. And we're going to pour these chitlins right over top of that rice right there. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Okay, let's make this bowl. Here we go, guys. It's still boiling. I just turned it off. Ooh, I'm going to show you how to eat. You hear me? If you all don't know how to eat, you know how to eat tonight. Because this is some good eating, guys. Check me out. Oh, my Lord, have mercy. Get you some broth. Oh, and see, that's over white rice. Let's get us some vegetables and some of that broth. Oh, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. 
I'm really cooking. I'm really cooking in this kitchen, guys. I told you. I told I told you that. Look at this. Hold on. Let me get a good picture. I'm gonna turn this way a little bit. Chitlins 101. If you all enjoyed this video, hey, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And make sure you click on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload one of these awesome videos. Okay, I need to let this cool down for a second and then I'll give this a try. Okay, everyone, let's dig in. Hopefully it's cooled down enough so that I don't burn the daylights out of my mouth. Thank you, Lord, for another meal. Thank you for all your blessings and taking care of us. Amen. Here we go, guys. Take that first bite right there. Take that first bite right there, guys. Ooh-wee. Mm-hmm. Um. Mm-mm-mm. 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 So tasty. So tasty. Yes. This is what I'm looking for. This is the flavor that I'm looking for when I think chitlins, guys. Look at that rice and those vegetables. Take that bite right there, guys. Oh, yeah. All you chitlin lovers out there, take that bite right there. Ooh. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So delicious. Now I'm gonna go in and get me some rice. Now with my rice, I cook my rice and chicken broth. Look at there. Mm-hmm. Take that bite right there, guys. Mmm. There we go. That's a good picture. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. So delicious. So delicious. Make sure. Use you some chicken broth and use you some chicken bouillon cubes, guys. That's the way to go. That's the way to flavor. You hear me? Mmm. 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 This right here. This will make you smack somebody. You hear me? This will make you smack the nearest. I'm glad nobody's in this kitchen with me because I smack the daylights out of them. It's so good. Mmm. And they say, what was that for? And I say, because the food is so daggone good. Mmm. 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 Oh, so good. Guys, I have been listening to church songs all day today and all day yesterday and it's really bringing my spirits up it really makes you feel good down inside right turn you some church music on mm, 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 mm. oh this is so tasty you hear me mm, mm, mm. Mm. get me some of that rice Woo! so for all of you that ask for this video here you go. And you can have this on your holiday table. All of the fixings that you all need to have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I've made those recipes for you. I think you're all set for the holidays. Mmm, look at this. Mmm, 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 mmm. So good. I'm going to take one bite, guys. One more bite. Mm, this broth, the broth is so good. You can just drink it. You hear me? Mm, and then mix in with that rice. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Delicious. And as always, have a great night. Thank you all for watching. Good night.